Okay guys, so this is part two of my G-Sync video, I guess. So I decided to do a separate video because it's going to be awfully long. So we're going to be doing the installation of the G-Sync module DIY kit into the ASUS VG240AQE monitor. So here's the installation guide. You're going to need a couple of things. So it says you need a Phillips head screwdriver, a flat head screwdriver, so I have a multi-bit screwdriver set here. Hand pliers, um, I have to pick that up in a bit. A pair of tweezers, I need to go find one of those. Metal surface or dry erase mark. A metal surface or dry erase marker. Uh, okay. Dry erase marker. Um, you need a plastic shim tool, which is included. It's in the box, so actually it should be right here. All right, so it's going to be used to separate the thing. System requirements, the GPU, you're going to need an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 6, uh, 650 Ti Boost, GPU or higher. I have a 770 in my system right now. So display, you need a ASUS VG248 QE monitor. You need the, ASU, the uh, NVIDIA 331.77 driver or higher, Windows 8.1, 8 or 7. Um, then have some registration, your serial number is also in the kit. So they have a connector diagram, um, ready said. Um, here's a G-Sync board. I hope we can keep the display outputs, but it looks like I won't be able to. You have a backlight connector, power connector, display port. Okay, so there's just guides of what's in here. Um, okay, so place monitor face down on a clean surface. So what I'm actually going to be using is the soft foam that came with the uh, DIY kit. Um, I was thinking about actually removing, about removing the... Um, do I have to remove the... Okay, I don't think I will have to. So I'm going to just put this in portrait mode. It goes this way. And then, because you're going to be removing the plastic backing off of it anyway, so you don't need to remove the vase amount. Although, it's kind of... It would be nice to do so. Oh, I hate glossy backings. That's why I have... I see on my fingerprints now, which is quite sad. Okay. Insert the plastic shim tool into the bottom opening. Be careful not to scratch the monitor. Push up the plastic shim gently to separate the plastic housing at a fastening point as shown. Okay, so let's go find my plastic thing. Okay, so here's the tool. Okay, so I am going to use this tool. I have no light back here, just so you guys know. So if you guys saw like Linus's video on his G-Sync monitor, essentially that's the same thing you'll be getting. You're getting like this ghetto um, rig system where I don't wanna. Sorry guys, I want to concentrate a bit. So I'm actually gonna do this off camera so I can like keep going because I I can't see without light. All right guys, I'm actually gonna give you a bit of insight on what's going on here. So here is I have a light flashing into here. So this is a little insert this hole here. I'm going to be placing my um, plastic tool in here and using it to push the plastic and separating it pretty much off the rest of the monitor. Alright, so here's the back, the plastic housing on the back of it. So you can see that's where the vase amount is um, over here. And over here is the rest of the monitor. So I still have it on that soft foam, luckily. Um, hope it survived. So we have the two speakers here. I didn't know they were right there. Maybe I should have figured out they were there. Um, so they're on the top of the monitor, I guess. This is the top of the display. So on the bottom here is you have your output. So here's your power, and here's your um, DVI. And so let's uh, keep going and see what we find. So the next part is to mark the corners with dry erase markers. So let me go get my dry erase. Focus. Okay. So I'm going to mark the corners of my dry erase marker, so I have... Wow, is this marker dead? There we go. So we got to... I'm going to mark that corner. I'm going to mark... I'm going to mark this corner. It's really hard. I'm right-handed, and I'm... In my left hand here. i got to do this corner. Just going to mark it like this. Sorry about Thank that. You. Thank you. Um, so we got this corner to do now. All right. So we got our corners marked. Let me go put my marker back. Okay. 
Mark with the chassis meets the LCD panel on all four corners. Okay. That's step four. Step five is remove the black tape. Where's the black tape? I found some black tape. So I'm gonna go remove it. This is the LVDS cable. Whatever that means. Sturdy black tape too. Jeez. That adhesive. That is some industrial adhesive right there. All right, so I'm gonna go dumpster to tape it right there. The inside? Okay, that's step five. Step six, unplug the V by pressing the two locking things here. So I gotta go over here and... Okay, it's gonna be really hard if I'm gonna be recording this. Should have a camera person with me now. Uh, all right. All right, so I disconnect that cable. Disconnect the power cable. So this is the power cable. Um, by lifting up the lock at the top and gently pulling out. Okay, so there's a lock here. And I just pulled it off. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that. Um, and there. I don't think I was supposed to pull it off, but yeah, it just came off. <laughs> I broke it off. That's a really fragile cable, but I don't think it's going to come off I, when I put it back together. Okay, disconnect the audio cable. Where's that? Alright, we had those two cables. The audio cable is right here. I should move this tape right here. I'm just going to lose the speaker functionality of this thing, too. I'm losing a lot of features by doing this thing. Um, so disconnect the audio cable. That's step eight. Step nine, this, disconnect the blue flex cable. Power connected by lifting up the lock at the top and gently pulling out the connector. Okay. So we got the blue thing here. Where is it? Blue flex cable. Oh, over here. All right, so we got to pull this. Wait, am I doing this right? Blue flex cable. That should be the one over there. Yeah, right next to the audio cable. So, the lock. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out off camera. I don't wanna break things too. Oh, I know. This is one of those, uh, okay, but I need my plastic thing, my shim. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull it with my finger and then pull it up from there. Okay, so that's step nine. Um, fold back metal shielding. I folded it the, the wrong way, but I guess that's fine backlight cable, so this is for the backlight. Um, Alright, I'm gonna just get the lock out, if there is one. Just gently pull this cable out. Almost got it. There we go. It's got the backlight cable out. That's step 10. It's a long guide. Fold back metal shielding tape from other three sides. So I'm gonna get rid of this one, this one, and this one. So here, here, and here. Okay, so full back metal shielding. I'm gonna do that and, and then I'm gonna separate this from there. I'm gonna do it off camera so I'm, I can like not break anything. Okay, so I separated the, um, the chassis, I guess they call this the chassis, from the LCD panel. So the LCD panel's over there on my desk. Um, so let's remove the insulation here. Oh, by the way, there's that one, um, tape thing. Uh, it's said to keep it to the LCD panel. I have to keep it on here. It's, it's really hard to get because it's, it's right against there, so I, I pull it there. The tape is really important, and it's also, it's also important when you have to mark those things because, uh, um, this tape is what holds this all together back to the LCD panel, so you don't want to rip it. <laughs> and I already did. Um, but, but, you know, never mind. Um, so here we have the PCB for the monitor. Very sophisticated stuff here. And when you compare it to what NVIDIA provides, yeah, I feel like we're losing a lot of features here. Um, okay, so the next part, you need to unscrew the video input connector. So remove the display port. Move two screws. Okay, so we have screws on. All right, so for this part, you, um, it's over here. There we go. Over here, there are two screws, so you need to get one from the HDMI and the display port. And uh, let's see what else you have to do. Um, and they have to use pliers? There's two hex Oh, that you need pliers to get rid of the um, 
to unscrew these. These are screws. Oh, go figure. DVI uses those screws. The connector things are screws. Go figure. Um, let's see. And you have to unscrew both of the PCBs. So after that, you got to unscrew those two. You got to unscrew these PCBs. And then remove more metal shielding over here. And then we'll work on that. All right, so here's the next part. I have all the screws set up. Um, you might want to take a picture of all your screws because they all use different threads and whatnot. Um, so, yeah. Next part is to remove the actual um, pieces. You want to do so in the ways that it shows on the manual because there are actually guides. So this one, I believe it comes out this way. There are guides that prevent it from like, so it keeps the PCB in place. So they, all, they both come out uh, in different directions. Okay, so I'm moving this PCB now, and it says in the mon uh, manual that these are not required for assembly, so you're not you're going to lose all your displays, unfortunately. But you do need the cables because it doesn't come with cables. Um, remove the metal standoff. So once you remove this metal standoff, what? Using pliers, carefully remove the metal standoff by gently bending and breaking it away from the metal base. Okay, so you're gonna lose this metal stand up. Oh shoot, that's not me fun. Wait, maybe you can bring it back. Okay, I, I could, cause I can turn it slightly. So it might just have something there. Um, so you gotta move that stand off with pliers and to bend it, apparently. And, and then we're gonna, we're gonna work on from there. Okay, so I remove that metal standoff there. Make sure you clean the holes so you don't get any metal fragments and then short your board and then destroy your monitor and now you lost like your investment in the DIY kit and the monitor. Um, okay, so let's see what else we got here. So you gotta move the cables and then reattach them to the G-Sync thing and then reassemble. So, yeah. All right, I'm really need to finish this up because I only have about five minutes of battery left. So I got my pliers out. I put those cables in there, so what I'm gonna do is line up the holes with the back of here. What I'm gonna use these for is to cover up, this is to use to cover up the, um, so this is like, you can use it to hold the DVI port and it's gonna, um, no, the display port, and it's going to block the dis uh, DVI and the HDMI port. So you're gonna have that there. This is for the same thing here, except it's going to only allow enough room for the port here, the power port. So I'm going to connect that and then essentially it's reassembling the whole entire thing together and um, yeah we're going to go on from there. Alright, I wanted to, call, I didn't really want to stop it, oh, by the way I put this display port thing here. You need to push the PCB a bit and then put the screw in. Um, oh, I forgot to put the screw in for the uh, HDMI port here. Okay, so they say to put this thing on. Uh, then then detach it to the chassis, but I don't there's nothing to hold it down so uh, I might just use like electrical tape and Hold it down because there's nothing to hold it down. I don't know, I mean, what do they want me to hold it down with? So uh, just there just align it and uh, um, Attach it to the chest. How do you attach it? What did, what did they want me to do? Okay, I'm gonna figure it out and I'm gonna go on from there. All right, so the chassis thing is connected back to the LCD. I'm gonna put the tape back down. We're going to reconnect all the funny cable thingies. Um, okay, so speakers are no longer connected. This thing, I don't know what this thing is. What is this thing? This 3D transmitter, 3, 3D transmitter, I think, something like that. Um, we no longer have, the, okay, we had to connect these two, and we're gonna connect the backlight. Um, so we lost the speakers, effectively. Um, so just the power cables and the LCD pick, um, cables. And tape them back down, reconnect everything. Reconnect the blue flag. Where does the blue thing go? Uh, Infert the front panel blue flex cable to the cable J6. What is that? Cable. Oh, it's over that case. Blue flex is going to that thing. We have to undo a bit more of that. So that's going to go into there. That speakers aren't connected. Um, okay, so that needs to be there. Okay. And um, so reconnecting cables, reassembly, and. Yep. So 
yeah, we're gonna fix this up and install G-Sync. I only have one minute left, so yeah. Okay, just as a quick note, um, I had to take apart the thing. Make sure when you plug in this cable that this metal piece is up when you have it plugged in like this. There are two little grooves there. Make sure it's switched because I had to unplug in and realize you didn't want to have these cables twisted around um, once you install it back to the LCD. So, yeah. All right, so here it is. It's almost done. Um, yeah, so it's all prickly and whatnot here from prying open. I got some really bad ones over here. You can see from prying it open. So I'm gonna go plug it in real quickly. Um, it's not gonna do anything special because it is DisplayPort now. Okay, so it does power on. And no input detected, as it says right there. No input detected. So um, yeah, it's a TN panel. What are we gonna do? So we're gonna go plug it into my computer and then we're going from there. All right, so it boots up. Uh, it says G-Sync display connected. So you can change your settings in the NVIDIA control panel. Um, G-Sync uh, capable there, I have it to 1080p at 144 hertz, that's great, I didn't want to lose that feature at least. Um, sorry I made my left hand, it's the most wobbliest thing ever. Uh, set up G-Sync, oh, change resolution tells you there. Um, set up G-Sync, so an application is running in full, uh, full screen mode. Uh, set up G-Sync as a primary display, and then vertical sync must be set to G-Sync. So when you go to 3D settings, um, over here, over here, it says that G-Sync is enabled as the vertical sync um, method here. So awesome. And uh, yeah, so instead of doing like adaptive V-Sync or whatever, on and off, you got G-Sync. So that's awesome. And I think that's it. So guys, I'll do a more in-depth review of what I think of it. Uh, actually, let me do a quick review of this installation process. Um, is it worth getting a DIY kit? Honestly, I, I say no. You paid $300 about, more or less, for the monitor. You had three different display outputs. You had some speakers you had in and out. So you could have connected like a um, console to it. But you lose that functionality now. Uh, and you also have like one display in and it's display port. You lost, a, you lost the Splendid display options like in the menu right here. Um, you only have like a couple things here, so change your refresh rate, your mode. Um, let's see, let's see if I can go. Can't really do anything. Uh, you can't. It doesn't do anything. You can't even get into the, any of the settings. Oh, can you do that? Nope. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know how. You... Okay, you can't do anything with it. So um. Yeah, he lost a lot of features on this. Um, there's no Asus logo when you boot up. So, uh, yeah. Oh, well. So, that's it, guys. If you want, if you have any questions, please post in the comments and um, I'll respond as quick as possible. Uh, it's New Year's, so I'm not going to do too much gaming tonight, guys. So, sorry. And uh, I think that's it. So, thanks for watching and uh, outro time. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jeff from HID. Thanks for watching this video. If you're interested in watching more of our videos, we do have that JCCJ cat link down there. So you can subscribe to our channel, check out our previous videos, and just stay up to date with us by subscribing, like I said a couple seconds ago. There's also over on this side a like and dislike button and the subscribe button there also. So just hit the buttons that you think you should press. And that's pretty much it. I'm Jen from HID. The comment section there is for you to post your suggestions, comments, concerns, criticisms, and I will respond to you as soon as I can. Anyway guys, I'm Jan from HID. Don't forget to subscribe and um, thanks for watching. And I'll show you guys out later.